least the knife's able to take it. Because if it broke when I did that, I would just never buy one of these again. So at least it could take that. Welcome one, welcome all, to the review of the Gerber Sandvik Full Tang Stainless Steel Blade. Alright, I'll start out with the weight, the approximate weight of this knife, including the sheath, is about 13.1 ounces, which is kind of heavy, but I'm still fine with it, and as long as it works, I'm cool. Um, comes with a rubber, a rubber sheath, what I do like and uh, with a subdued black coating. So, uh, most knives, what I would have preferred, and I wear this around my waist and under my jacket most of the time, but I, what I would have preferred is the, um, the strap to go around here, because I don't want my knife falling down like this. I'm sorry for that. No, in fact, I'm just going to pull this out. Like, don't get all that noisy stuff. Uh, but. They did do a good job on the sheath. I mean, they put two straps right here, including the buckle in which uh, the grip is locked in. So I'll sh show you uh, a quick example. They are not, uh, what are they called? Uh, Velcro, it is a pin. And then the lock here, you must pull it out real nice because it's kind of locked in there. And there's your sheath, love it. Uh, and we're on into the knife. Alright, let's point out the pros and the cons. First of all, this was made in the United States, which I absolutely love items made in the United States, especially knives. Um, and firearms for that matter, except I do like some, uh, some out-of-country firearms, such as, um, the AK-47, definitely, my type list. But I am... Um, into the AR-15 as well. So I love the United States of A. When it comes to weaponry, knives, guns, and tactical gear. And so let's start with the pros and cons. Um, again, right here it is a almost a rubberized grip. I love that rubberized grip. Nice comfortable feeling when you uh, hold it in your hand. has a uh, loophole to put, put a uh, what is it called? Uh, what's the type of string? Lanyard through. A lanyard. And yeah, and I do love that. Um, especially the rubberized grip and it's made in the United States. I hope. Or at least that's what it says. And I do like that. We do have a 4.75 inch blade. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. I uh, do like it. It's definitely not your... F um, not the best knife out there. Um, uh, and knives are all broken in some way, shape, or form. Once they're once you use them, they're broken. Uh, and broken knives are the only knives. And uh, so I do love this uh, this this texture. I do love it, and it is very nice. As you see, we have a, uh, a, a smooth blade and a cut blade. I forget what that's called. Um, I'm just going to say cut blade for now on, if you guys don't mind. And this is the Sandvik Full Tank Stainless Steel Knife, or Blade. And trust me, I am not a fan of stainless steel, okay? When it comes to survival, stainless steel is not what you want to have at all, okay? It's just not a good choice. Um, the steel could break easy, and I would definitely recommend if you were to buy a knife always look into carbon steel. Carbon steel is a tougher form and I think it would be better for your survival needs. So look into that also. And I do like this. Uh, I mean, it, it could definitely work cutting small pieces of wood. It's not, it's definitely, definitely not a Gurkha Kukri. Um, love it if it would, but it's not. And so, yeah. So, it's called soft grip. Um, that's what it's called. And uh, the lanyard ex uh, accepts 550 cord. 
And yeah, I like that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a, again, this is a tool, and please be careful with it. I mean, just got it today. So let me show you it attaching to here. Once you slide your knife in, this way, the top of the grip locks in place, which I thought is a neat little idea. Lock it in, and you hear it click. You strap on the little pins, each one of them, and then you can tie it to your waist through the uh, little waistband, or if you honestly want to, against your shoulder, if you're a mall ninja, okay? And if you don't know what a mall ninja is, please look it up. Uh, yeah. So I do like this knife. Nice little piece. Love it. Uh, definitely not the best knife out there. Um, if I were to rate this thing, I'd give it, what, three stars? But the stainless steel definitely turns me on the downside. And I would definitely look uh, like uh, to look into a... Um, a military K bar and I'm really interested in those things and I have to look a bit more into them and I just bought this one I didn't really know it existed I just bought it I saw it I'm like hey why not I bought it seventy dollars what are you gonna get for seventy dollars stainless steel blade so uh, yeah if you're trying to find a non folding blade or a fixed blade that's cheap and a beginner get this thing it's called the Sandvik uh, 420 HC full tank stainless steel blade. Thank you for watching this video.